let's uh, let's start the game with the basics of our vectors, right? So first of all, in general, please write down. There are two types of quantities, as we all know, correct? So there are two types of quantities. The first quantity is a scalar quantity. The first quantity is what? A scalar quantity, correct? What is the scalar quantity? If we are having only magnitude, if I am having only magnitude, only, only magnitude. So if I am having only magnitude, then it is nothing but a scalar quantity, right? And again, vector quantity, which is our main concern, the vector quantity, the vector quantity, which is our main concern. So the vector quantity is nothing but magnitude, magnitude into direction. So magnitude into direction is nothing but what? What vector quantity? So here we are having what the direction. I am having here direction. So if I am having direction with magnitude, it is nothing but the vector quantity. So let us have the vector quantity, a uh, vector a. If I am having the direction related with the x-axis, this is i i cap plus a y j cap plus a z k cap, right? So here I am having the x y and z axis. So this is what x-axis I am having here x-axis. Let us suppose the y-axis, and this is nothing but the z-axis. So this is the origin O, correct? So if I am having if I am having what the unit vector, so the unit vector that means the mod value should be 1, correct? So i cap along y we are having what j cap and along z what we are having is k cap, right? So if I am having the unit vector i, j and k along x, y and z axis, so we can design a vector quantity. So what it represents is nothing but a point we can say about the origin, correct? So this is the point. This is the point and from the origin we have the quadrant ax, comma, ay and comma az. So this, this is nothing but the vector quantity, correct? So this is the vector and if I am saying uh, number 1, let us suppose we are having number 1, it is a vector quantity, correct? So if I am saying the magnitude of this vector quantity, so number 2, let us suppose we are having the magnitude, magnitude. So what is the magnitude here? This is nothing but mod of A. This should equal to root over AX square plus AY square plus AZ square, correct? So this is nothing but the magnitude we are having, okay? Now, what is next? If I am having only, uh, only the direction, that means unit vector. So number 3, unit vector, unit vector in direction of unit vector in direction of in direction of let us suppose vector a so unit vector is nothing but it is represented by what a cap so a cap is nothing but vector a divided by its mod absolutely fine we are having this mod value is divided with the vector so we are having what we are having the unit vector so this is nothing but see vector a is nothing but this is what the vector a is nothing but magnitude into the direction and what is the direction it is nothing but the unit vector so this is what a cap which is divided by mod of a so i am having this is a cap right this and this value is cancel out and we are having a cap a cap is equal to vector a upon mod of a right so this is what unit vector in direction of vector a these are all the things we have done in class 12th, so the basic of vector is nothing but our class 12th syllabus, right? It is of class 12th, okay? So if I'm having the vectors or if I'm having two points, so let us suppose I'm having this point and the point, the another point this. So if I'm having A, let us suppose this point is 1, 2 and 3 and let us suppose this point B, this is nothing but 3, 2 and let us suppose 1. So what will be the vector AB? So, if I need to find the vector AB, this is nothing but what? This is nothing but AB, right? So, I am having AB, vector AB 
it is nothing but vector b minus vector a so let's have this is what x so 3 minus 1 this is what 2i plus 2 minus 2 this is what we are having what 2 minus 2 0 j now 1 minus 3 is what minus 2 and this is what k so we have our vector a b i am writing here vector a b it is nothing but the value 2 i cap minus 2 j cap correct so this all the all the things are nothing but the basics which have been done in our class 12th correct so let us have, let us have some uh, another basics right the product of vectors if i am having the products then how many uh, types of products the total how many types of products of uh, of vectors then there are three types of products or two types of products please tell me so if you are saying there is a two types of products then you are absolutely correct but i am having the three types of products so i am writing here there are three types of products three types of products so i am having three types of products and number one number one let us suppose uh, i am naming it like a general product right general product so what is general product dear students what do we mean by the general product see if i am multiplying a vector with a scalar right we can multiply the vector with a scalar there is no problem at all so if i am multiplying if i am multiplying the vector with a scalar any scalar value then the resultant is nothing but vector in the same direction then what is actually the changes in it so if i am multiplying a scalar in a vector quantity then magnitude the magnitude right the magnitude the value magnitude changes so if i want to increase the magnitude in the same direction or if want to if i want to decrease the magnitude in the same direction so we can apply what general product it is uh, it is like a simple general product or general application general what we can say general what operation also we can say right number two number two is really important it is a dot product so we have done with the dot product in our class 12th if uh, you remember that dot product right so what is dot product i am having the definition of dot product first so i am having a dot b it is nothing but the symbol right there is no another meaning of dot dot is like a symbol right so i am having a and b so this is nothing but mod of a and mod of b and cos theta then what is theta theta is the angle between a and b right so if i am writing the two vectors a and b i am having vector a here and let us suppose i am having vector b with angle theta so this is nothing but the angle theta and always remember this thing the theta the orientation is always what counter clockwise so here the orientation is nothing but counter clockwise my dear students so what is the here i am having the vector b right so let us have the arrow the arrow represents the what it is a vector quantity right uh, the length of the arrow the length of the vector is also referred as a magnitude so magnitude of uh, magnitude is also referred as length it is also referred as length of a vector quantity it is also referred as length of a vector quantity my dear students so magnitude is nothing but length right so if i am having a b cos theta so here you can write with the help of what is the physical significance with the help of dot product we can have the value of angle between two vectors right so i am having the value of angle is nothing but theta is equal to cos inverse we can write like a dot b divided by a b mod so i am having a and b this is nothing but representation of mod so what is the value of theta is nothing but cos inverse a dot b upon a into b right this is not dot this is the mod value so we can write also this mod value okay so this is not here dot or cross this is a simple product because these two are the scalar and we are having the dot product here so dot product is nothing but a b cos theta dear students now if i'm having the if i'm having it mathematically right if i'm having it mathematically so what we can have mathematically I am writing let us suppose I am having the vector a and dot vector b in the form of i j and k see it is remember it is the point of 
uh, it is point to remember that if the vector is given in the form of i j and k then apply mathematics that means this mathematically correct. But if there is only a vector without i j and k I mean the values are not given then please go with the definition it is the thumb rule if you are given with the i j and k apply mathematically that means this we are going to apply here and if there is no there is no i j and k that means the vector simple a vector or b vector or c vector then apply definition correct. So by mathematically we are having what a x i cap plus a y j cap let us have the vector like a this and a z k cap correct and dot if I am having b so like I am having a small b here b i b x i cap plus b y j cap plus b z k cap dear students. So let us have the dot product so here we are having what uh, cos theta right so cos theta so I am using cos theta as a dot product so the resultant of theta depends upon the I mean the resultant is depends upon the theta so if theta is equal to 0 I am having i into i the theta is equal to 0 right if the theta is equal to 0 if the theta is equal to 0 it is nothing but cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so I am having only a x and b x then i into j if I am having i into j it is nothing but i into j i and j the angle between i and j is 90 degree and cos 90 degree is 0. So i and j are not multiplied I mean it is multiplied but the resultant is 0. So I am having j j that means a y b y and I am having k k this is nothing but a z b z clear. So a x b x a y b y a z b z it is nothing but a dot b mathematically you are getting my point. So this quantity is nothing but it is a scalar quantity right it is a scalar quantity so it is nothing but a scalar product. So we can say the we can say the the dot product is also referred as a scalar product right it is also referred as please write down it is also referred as inner product right it is also referred as inner product I am writing here inner it is also referred as inner product so it is also referred as inner product why it is inner product because we are having i into i j into j k into k no outer product that means i into j equal to 0 i dot j is equal to 0 i dot k is, is equal to 0 so this is what inner product we are having now number 3 number 3 is nothing but number 3 is nothing but cross product cross product then we will have an example in which we will have the dot and cross simultaneously so I am having cross product right what is the cross product so the definition of cross product is nothing but a cross b cross is nothing but a symbol correct is equal to the mod value of a and the mod value of b and here sin theta and dot n cap I am having n cap here right n cap then what is this this is the new thing see we all know about the mod a mod b there is no problem but what is n cap n cap is nothing but please write down n cap is nothing but unit normal vector it is nothing but unit normal vector it is nothing but unit normal vector which represents the direction of the resultant please write down n cap is nothing but unit normal vector which represents the direction of resultant so I am having it is it represents what direction of a cross b a cross b is nothing but resultant right so it is nothing but the direction of a cross b so that is why a cross b if I am having the direction then it is nothing but the vector quantity so a cross b is a vector quantity hana? So you can write here a cross b, a cross b is a vector quantity, you can write a cross b is a vector quantity. If it is a vector quantity then the product, the cross product is also referred as what? It is also referred as what? Vector product. It is also referred as what? Vector product. It is also referred as vector product the cross product is also referred as vector product again it is also referred as outer product so scalar product or dot product or inner product mathematically we have the inner product and now cross product we will have mathematically but cross product is nothing but 
vector product and also it is referred as what cross product also it is referred as what also it is referred as what outer product so let us have the mathematics here so i'm writing mathematically you can write mathematically what we will apply here mathematically okay so i'm writing a cross b i have told you if you are having the if you are having the what i j k then only apply mathematically that means here i'm having i j and k so this is nothing but a x a y and a z this is nothing but b x b y and b z so let us solve it the determinant we have done with the linear algebra so this multiplied with this a y b z minus a z b y and minus j what we are having is a x b z so i'm having a x b z minus a z b x and now plus k uh, a x b y so i'm writing here a x b y minus a y b x so i'm having a y b x so here i cap j cap and k cap it represents that it is a vector quantity it is nothing but a vector quantity correct please write down a very important point related to the vector product or cross product here the n cap is what it is the direction of a vector this this vector product is the direction of the vector product right the direction of the resultant right but it is the perpendicular to both a and b please write down the n cap is perpendicular it is perpendicular to both right it is perpendicular to both vector a and vector b that means let us suppose if if we are having in x axis if i am having vector a in y axis if i am having vector b then it must be x it, it must be that a cross b the resultant is of is in z direction right in electromagnetic theory right in electromagnetic theory what electric field let us suppose it is an x axis magnetic field physics right magnetic field is y axis so the electromagnetic field is the resultant of the cross product of electric field and magnetic field which is in the perpendicular direction and that means it is in the z direction right so i am having the example for again both i am saying for again both i am having for dot product and cross product as well so let us suppose a a vector a is equal to 2i cap plus j cap minus k cap and i am having vector b you can write vector b is equal to i cap plus j cap let us suppose vector c is equal to i cap minus 2j cap plus k cap so we are having three vectors now what is the question mark the question mark is nothing but a cross b dot c we just need to find this a cross b dot c that means what a cross b is nothing but it is a vector quantity and it is c c is what a vector quantity then the dot product is nothing but the scalar quantity then we will have a number so i am writing here without what without the option so i am having a cross b so first of all we need to calculate a cross b right so this is the example so that we can have cross product and dot product simultaneously so i am having a cross b so i am writing here a cross b so what is the value of a cross b i am having i cap j cap and k cap correct so a cross b i am having a here 2 1 and minus 1 and b is nothing but 1 1 and 0 so i am having i cap and what it comes 1 into 0 and minus 1 so 0 plus 1 and now minus j cap this is what hidden in the form we are having 0 so i am having 0 minus minus plus 1 and again plus k cap what is the value here i am having 2 and minus 1 so it is nothing but 2 minus 1 so what is the value here i cap minus j cap and plus k cap so dear student what is the value i cap minus j cap and 2 minus 1 is nothing but plus 1 so k cap so this is what a cross b correct so this is what a cross b i am having like this now what we need to apply is a cross b dot c so i am writing here a 
cross B and dot C. So, what is A cross B? A cross B is nothing but what I minus J plus K, correct? And dot C. So, what is C? I am having here I cap minus 2J cap plus K cap, correct? So, let us multiply it. What we are having is I into I, this is 1 minus minus and minus plus, correct? J into J1, that means 2 what we are having is plus k into k that is 1. So, what is the value is 4? 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. So, here we are having the answer 4. So, I am having the answer 4. But I am saying, okay, this is the what cross product and dot product, but I am saying calculate. Please calculate this value. I am writing here, please calculate this value, the determinant of, please calculate this value, the delta determinant of a is coefficient that means 2 1, 2, 1 minus 1, I am writing here 2 1 minus 1 and B is coefficient this is what 1 1 and 0 and C is coefficient that means what 1 minus 2 and 1. Let us calculate this. So, I am calculating this. What we are having is, I am having 2, this multiplied with this, I am having 1 here minus 1. So, this multiplied with this, again I am having 1 here and minus 1. So, I am doing what this multiplied with this and this multiplied with this that means what C this is minus 2 correct minus 2 and plus 1. So, minus 2 plus 1 is not it minus 2 minus 1 sorry. So, I am having minus 2 minus 1 correct C please I am having what 2 multiplied with this 1. So, 1 minus 1 multiplied with again 1. So, this is correct. So, minus 1 this is minus 1 then minus 2 and minus 1 right minus 2 and minus 1 absolutely fine. So, what we are getting is we are having 2 minus 1 that is correct minus 3 C this is what minus 3 and minus 1 multiplied with so I am having what 3 here. So, 3 and 2 5 minus 1 oh my goodness it is also 4. So, what is it? So, this is nothing but this is nothing but a scalar triple product this is nothing but a scalar value and this is triple product. So, this is the value we are having delta, but I can write here A cross B dot C or you can write also A, I mean if you want to multiply C by having this, so you can write it also, okay. So, this is nothing but what A cross B dot C as a scalar triple product. So, we are having only two types of vector products that is the that is the uh, dot product and cross product. So, we have the concept of dot product and cross product, but yes, if we are having, if I am mixing the cross product with a dot product, then the resultant is a scalar quantity. So, this is the example and what we have, what we are doing is, this is the, this is the basically a revision of class 12th, correct? This is basically the revision of class 12th. We are doing what? We are having the basics of vector quantity. In next, we will have some application of dot and cross products we will have some application right and then we will have some types of vector quantities then we will have the booklet question right and basically what is going on this is what the revision of the basics of vectors the easiest thing of the vectors from class 12. So, let us have in the next video we will discuss some another same kind of basics but yes the types of vectors will we will have some kind of like a orthogonal vectors, orthonormal vectors, multiplication, dot product, cross product. What is the application, right? Area, area of triangle. So, let us discuss in the next video, my dear students. So, continue with it. Do not need to have the revision, just carry on the second video. Second video start.